Hello everyone, uh, Mini here. So today I'm going to be making an updated version of the video that I have, which is the one headset and the one, the one microphone. Um, I'm seeing that a lot of people have a lot of questions or that they're confused. So I just decided to make a better, more in-depth updated version of it. Uh, but before I start, I do want to thank uh, the new subscribers that I've gotten um, and that the video, I didn't expect the video to kind of, I guess, blow up or kind of get that much traction. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start and explain to you how to set it up, and how to do everything. And again, I, I do appreciate the support. So let's get on with it. So like the previous video that I made, uh, I'm going to be solving two problems that I had and didn't want to spend too much money. And this is somewhat a free alternative way. Now, the first part I'm going to cover are for people who want to hear their PC and their PS4 through one headset. And the second part will be for people who want to use their mic for PC and for PS4. So for this first part, I'm going to show the setup on how to do it before I start getting into the software. Here we have the PlayStation. The way I have it set up on the back, I have the HDMI going into my capture card and then from the capture card, Going to the back of this monitor right here. Sorry for the flickering. Now you could also just go straight from the HDMI port straight to the back of this uh, monitor and it's gonna work the same. Uh, it's just for me, I like to record my gameplay. So it's just going through there to here. But you can also just go from here to your monitor. Once you have that set up, what you're gonna wanna do is get an aux cable and you're gonna wanna connect the aux cable to your uh, line in on the back of the PC. The color should be blue or it should just be labeled line in. Now for me, it's labeled line in, so you connect that to the back, all right? Now, in order to get sound, there are three places where you can plug it in. You can either go from the line in to your monitor, from your line in into the bottom of your controller, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's just gonna be annoying, but you can do it. Or the third option is you get a sound card. If you don't have a jack in the back of your, uh, your monitor, you can get a, uh, a sound card and plug it in into the green. It's three ways to do it. Now, if you don't have a sound card and you're not gonna use a microphone, which I'm gonna talk about later, you can just get it directly from your PC line in to the back of your monitor or into your controller. So now that we have that set up, what, we, what you need to do is download Voice Meter Banana. Uh, you can do the regular voice meter, but um, for me, it's too small and I prefer more inputs. So I'm gonna go with this one. Just gonna go ahead and uh, download it. Now the second thing, if you want to use Discord with it, is you're going to need the virtual audio cables. It's not necessary if you're not going to be using Discord, but if you're going to be using Discord, you need it. Just go ahead and download that too and install them. It's important to know that when you install your virtual cables, to choose the right one. Now for me, it's going to be the 64. When you're going to install it, make sure to run as administrator and then install drivers. Once you have installed Voice Meter Banana, what you're going to want to do Let's go into your sound settings and make sure you have voice meter input set as default. And also for recording, make sure you have voice meter output as your default. And then from there, you should be good to go. It's very important that you have these, your default, set them as default and then continue. Uh, go ahead and open up voice meter banana. And if you're going to be using discord, make sure you open up audio virtual cable control panel. Make sure you, there's two of them. Make sure you open up both. Now, in order to open up these panels, hit the magnifying glass at the bottom bar and type in virtual, virtual aux IO control panel and also virtual IO control panel. Two different ones. Now, once you have those open, let's go to your options and click on internal sampling rate 4800 or I mean 48,000 on both. Once you click those, Make sure you also reset your uh, computer again. If not going to be using Discord, you can skip that and you can just go to here. From here, what you're going to want to do is, like I said, open up Voice Meter Banana, go on Menu, and then go to System Setting Options, and change your preferred main sample rate to 48,000. Also, you're going to want to do is uh, check mark System Tray Run on Startup, and then also Show App on Startup, so that every time you turn on your computer, it's just always going to open up and start right away instead of you having to open it up every single time. If the only thing you want to do is be able to listen to your PS4 and your PC at the same time, what you got to do is in any input, you're going to want to select line in. 
WDM line in. Now that right there is from the line in from your PC. Now in order for you to hear it, you're gonna wanna click A1 and then click your headset. I'm gonna use my wireless headset, which are gonna be my HyperX Cloud. And make sure it's also WDM. Now, if you have more than one input, or if you have, let's say you wanna listen to your, through it to your speakers, you're gonna wanna click A2 and choose your speakers. These here represent these up here. Now let's say if I'm on line in, if A1 is uh, selected, any audio going into from this channel is gonna go to my headsets. Now, for example, let's say these are my speakers. If I were to click A2, any audio from this is gonna go to A1 and A2, which is A1 and A2, meaning my headset and my speakers. So now if you only want it through your headset, have this one enabled. If you want this one only to go to your speakers, have this one enabled. Now from there, you're pretty much set. Now, if I turn on my PlayStation, I'll show you what I mean. So now if we go over here, just to recap, I have my headset here on one and I have my speakers on two and then I have line in here with A1 selected. Now to make this easier, I'm gonna deselect everything else. The only thing here is my piece uh, PlayStation, which then I can write PS4. The reason this works again is because the aux is connected to my PC, line in, and then it's connected to the back of this monitor. Or what you could also do is connect it into the controller. And I'll show you that in a bit. We have line in here and we have the PC audio here. Because remember, you defaulted it on your uh, sound on your sound settings. Here we have A1, A2, meaning head, your headset as your A1 and your speakers, if you have speakers. If I have A1, it's gonna go to my headset so that if I move, it still registers, you see right here? It registers it, but you can't hear it. Now, if you were to click A2, which are your speakers, you'll be able to hear it. Same thing here with your PC. If it's A1, only your headset, you'll be able to hear through your headset. Now, if you click A2, you should be able to hear music here. Now, like I said before, you could also use your controller if you don't have an aux. Now what you would do is connect your aux. Once you connect it from here, up there, same thing, you should be able to move and also hear it too. So that's two ways of doing it. Now let's say if you have it connected to the back of your monitor and you're not getting sound, what you wanna do is go to your settings, go to your devices and then audio devices and make sure output is on TV uh, or AV amplifier and the top one is on none. Now, if you still can't hear, make sure you click on the line in. Once again, just re-click it and you should be able to uh, hear again. See, as long as you're getting this, you should be good to go. If instead you're gonna be using your audio for a controller, what you're gonna wanna do, you see right now I can't hear anything. To make sure that it's, you're getting some type of audio, if you look over here, you're getting none. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go to your settings Again, devices and then audio devices. And what you're gonna wanna do is make sure input device is headset connected to controller and output device headset connected to controller. And you should be able to uh, hear. Now, if you can't hear also, again, you're gonna wanna click line in and re-click it. And then now you should be getting sound. So again, controller these settings without controller that settings all right so again you should be able to hear your playstation and also your video all at once so you should be good to go so that's for part one now for those who are going to be using discord to talk to their friends uh while playing the playstation again you got your playstation for here what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to any of these two empty ones or any two empty ones you have and type in uh, write Discord. And then right here, make sure you should have one called cable output. Once you have that, you wanna to go to your Discord, go to your voice and video, make your input whatever mic you use and make your output cable input. 
Make sure it's not voice meter input. Make sure it's cable input. And then from there, when someone in Discord talks, their voice should pop up right here. Again, A1 for your headset, A2 for your speakers or whatever you have here. So that's how you make it work with Discord. Again, you still be able to hear your friends, your PlayStation, and your PC all into one output device like your headset or speakers. So that concludes part one. Yeah, that's all you needed. There it is. Now, what I'm going to talk about next is part two, which is how do you use your microphone for Discord and for your PlayStation. So now in order to use your microphone, what you're going to need is one of these, a sound card. So what you're going to want to do is connect it. I like connecting it to the back of the PlayStation or you can connect it to the front. It doesn't matter. Get yourself another aux. What you want to do is connect it and then connect the other side into the green on the back of your PC. So it should be from your PC to here to there. Now, like I said, you can, if you want, connect the aux line in to the green one. The reason I did it for the monitor is because um, not many people have this or want to use your microphone. So this is a third solution if you want to use, uh, if you want to get audio from your PlayStation into your PC, into your headset. Now, once you have that set up, what you're gonna want to do Let's go back to your voice meter and for your last empty hardware input those ones gonna be your mic is select your microphone and then once that's selected every time you're talking to your microphone this should be moving up and down so now recap right here we have your microphone your discord and your line in so uh before i get into this i do want to mention that this only works for usb mics i tried doing it with the analog but it doesn't seem to work so make sure you have a usb mic connected so now once you have your mic here and your first slot on your ps uh on your ps4 what you want to do is let's say if you just do that and go to your sound and adjust mic here it won't register my my voice again once you connect the aux into the speakers it's gonna automatically put this to default make sure you go back to your settings and enable voice meter input again make sure that's default from there, we can switch back to the PlayStation. Over here, what you don't want to do is go to A3 and make sure you select your speakers, your Realtek speakers. Now from there, what you want to do is go to your microphone and have A3 selected. Okay. okay, so the reason you have A3 selected is because any audio going from here is going to go out the speakers and into the microphone into your PlayStation if that makes any sense so now every time I talk here my voice it's gonna be registered now let's say for some reason your voice not being registered here what you're gonna have to do is go to your settings go to devices audio devices and make sure your input is set to USB headset. Now, if you wanna use the green on this and you wanna get audio from here, make sure you connect it here and then that goes into your line in. And then make sure when you have that, set this to USB in order to get sound using your sound card to from the green to your line in. You have to have this. Now, if you're just using your monitor, have this to TV amplifier. Or if you're using the controller, make sure this is set to your headset, the option that I showed you before. And again, if, if you don't see your your microphone registered, again, just re-click this again. Now with that set, you should be able to hear my voice if I were to speak. Let me just go to the level. See, every time I speak, you'll hear me. If, again, if you want to hear yourself, a2 it goes directly into your speakers now if you were to click a1 you'll be able to hear yourself because a1 is your headset okay now if you don't want to hear yourself just turn these all off and just keep this one enabled now let's say you're on discord 
or let's say this instead. Let's say you're playing PlayStation, and then your friends say they can hear whatever you're, you're, you're listening to. So now, if you have A3 enabled, anything going to A3 is going to go to the PS4. Anything A3 is going to go to them. Now, let's say if you're watching a, a video or listening to something on, on YouTube, and you have A3 enabled here, anything you listen to on your PC is going to go to them. So be careful and not to have those, you know. So A1, A2 is for you to hear. A3 goes directly to your PS4. Either your PC audio, your PlayStation, or let's say if uh, you're on Discord and your friend speaks, it's going to go to PS4. Okay. So A3 goes to PS4. A1, A2 goes to your headset and speakers. Now... Here's the other thing. So right here you can see there's a little bit of static here. Now, this little bit you shouldn't be able to hear unless you crank this up. But let's say it's it's loud and it's annoying. What you can do is get yourself the isolator. It doesn't have to be this one. It could be any, doesn't matter. Connect it here and into your PC. And although it doesn't remove it, you shouldn't hear the, the static anymore or it should be basically gone. But like I said here, it's, it's not, it doesn't seem like it moved, but you'll be able to, you won't be able to hear it no more. So now that's one thing that's in case you hear the static in your headset. Now let's say, at least this was a problem for me. You're using your microphone, but for some reason, every time you talk, it's staticky or if you're not talking, it stays staticky. So what you can do instead is connect from here your sound card connect uh, connect it to your sound card and then connect to the isolator and then from there connect it to the connect it to the back of your PC and then make sure you reclick this because it, you have to reclick it and then you'll notice that your microphone is not as it's not gonna be static anymore and it's gonna move that that static noise now if you get static on both by two now, if you want to get static on one, buy it just for that one. Now, if, you, if you're lucky, you're going to get no static, you don't have to buy it. But that's just an option that you can get. And then other than that, you should have your microphone here so that when you talk, you can hear. You have your Discord so when they talk. And you should be able to have your game sound here. As you can see, it's registered. Now, hopefully that answered all the questions you guys had. Again, if for some reason you're still confused about something feel free to comment down below um again i do want to say uh, i really do appreciate all the support that you guys have uh given um and i also really appreciate all the the new subscribers that i've gone to i did have a goal of trying to hit 150 subscribers and i'm almost there and i really do appreciate now if you guys do want to follow me i do have a twitch um i'll put it on the screen i really do appreciate it if you do follow that um, right now I don't have that much, I don't have any content on it. I do plan to stream once I, uh, finish here my setup. And, uh, I think that's all for today. So again, thank you. And hopefully this answers all your questions and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.